Let's discuss countries renowned for their Russian beauties. Eastern European nations, known for their Slavic beauties, include the likes of Ukraine, Belarus, and the Baltic Trio, along with Russia. A common challenge these countries face is the difficulty their women have in getting married, mainly due to a shortage of men. Half-jokingly, yet with a hint of seriousness, some Russian women have suggested, maybe we should consider polygamy. Where on earth have all the Russian men gone? Russia's population stands at approximately 145 million. In demography, when analyzing the gender ratio, one often uses 100 females as a baseline. For Russia, it's 86 to 100, meaning for every 100 women, there are only 86 men. On a larger scale, this means Russia has a staggering shortfall of 11 million men. Considering the global average ratio is 101.7 to 100 in favor of men, it underscores how skewed Russia's gender distribution truly is. There are typically two main reasons for such gender imbalances in peaceful times. Mass migration and a preference for one gender at birth. Historically, Sweden had a majority female population. However, when they accepted a large number of Syrian refugees in 2015, the scales tipped because most of the refugees were male. Nepal, on the other hand, is one of the few countries in Asia where women outnumber men. This is because many Nepali men travel abroad seeking employment. Yet Russia hasn't experienced this. While men from former satellite states have come to Russia for jobs, there's hardly been a mass exodus of Russian men. Could it be that Russia has a preference for daughters, leading to more girls being born? Unlikely. Naturally, for every 100 girls born, there are about 105 boys born. Since men generally have a shorter lifespan, the gender balance evens out or slightly favors women as time goes on. This natural balance holds true for Russia as well. So, something else is behind Russia's severe gender imbalance. In reality, Russia has had more women than men for quite some time, a consequence of World War II. During that period, the Soviet Union had a population of around 190 million. Recent Russian research suggests that including civilians, up to 27 million Soviets died during the war. This tragic number equates to 14% of the population. The majority of those who perished were men, including soldiers. Yet in Russia, even though most of the generation that experienced World War II has passed away, the gender imbalance persists. There's a saying in Russia, by the time men hit their 30s, they start to disappear, and by the time they're 65 and drawing social security, barely half of them remain. In fact, the life expectancy for Russian men seemed to be on the rise, but after facing the COVID-19 pandemic, it plummeted to 64.7 years. That's a whopping 11 years less than American men, and even seven years earlier than men in Bangladesh. Globally, women tend to live about five years longer than men, but in Russia, this gap exceeds 11 years. It's truly an extraordinary phenomenon. Just looking at these figures, it's evident how short the lifespan of Russian men is. And intriguingly, other countries known for their beauties exhibit similar trends. Even if not as extreme as Russia, these countries still have significant gender life expectancy gaps. A dominant factor turning Russia into a country with a stark female majority is the fact that Russian men start dying off early, especially around their 30s. This indicates that they're drastically exposed to life-threatening situations during this period. And the primary culprit, according to numerous studies, is alcohol especially the potent 80-proof vodka. A common saying in Russia is, anything colder than minus 40 degrees isn't considered cold, and anything under 80 proof isn't considered alcohol. This hints at Russia's harsh winters. Warming oneself with strong vodka during these chilling times has been a long-standing Russian tradition. Hence, it's said among Russian men that one might live without a wife, but not without vodka. Ever since vodka, which used to be reserved for the czars, became accessible to the general public during the reign of Peter the Great in the 17th century. This sentiment has persisted. The problem is excessive consumption. Russians are the world's top drinkers, consuming an average of roughly 4.75 gallons of alcohol per person annually. And the WHO warns that consuming more than 2.1 gallons annually can be life-threatening. For every quart over this limit, a man's life expectancy drops by nearly a year. 
Given these figures, it's undeniable that the shorter life expectancy of Russian men is linked to alcohol consumption. According to a report in The Lancet, a leading British medical journal in 2014, a quarter of Russian men died before the age of 55 due to excessive drinking. When factoring in diseases related to drinking and accidents like DUIs, alcohol-related deaths in Russia reach around 500,000 annually. According to WHO, a third of Russian men might be suspected of alcohol addiction, and a staggering 80% of Russian teenagers consume alcohol. Even Putin recognizes the gravity of the issue. In one speech, he remarked that a country as vast as Russia should have a population of around 500 million, and announced government regulations on alcohol sales, including making vodka a state monopoly. And since 2002, he's been selling a vodka named after himself, Putinka. How the profits from this vodka are distributed remains a mystery. However, rumors are rife that Putin and his inner circle have pocketed billions of dollars from its sales. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption have been major culprits shortening the lifespans of Russian men. Although the situation has improved somewhat, Russia was among the top countries for cigarette consumption during the 2010s. Half of the adult population were smokers, and looking at men alone, this number rose to over 65%. In Moscow, a staggering 73% of male teenagers smoked. In Russia, 17% of all deaths were linked to smoking, with 400,000 people dying from smoking-related causes annually. Beyond alcohol and cigarettes, there are various reasons Russian men face shorter lives. One significant factor is traffic accidents. Russia has not only been known for its poor road conditions, but also for aggressive driving habits. As a result, for many years, Russia held the unenviable top spot for traffic-related fatalities. Throughout the 2010s, for every million vehicles, there were 939 fatalities, resulting in over 20,000 deaths annually. Another factor is the general disregard many Russian men have for their health. 60% of Russia's population is overweight, and 25% is considered obese. This trend can be tied to the economic disparities that emerged after the shift to capitalism. As the wealth gap grew, lower-income individuals began consuming cheaper, less healthy processed foods, leading to rising obesity rates. Despite the various health risks associated with obesity, many Russian men seem indifferent to its dangers. There's also a certain macho culture among some Russian men, which tends to glorify risk-taking and adventurous behaviors. There are numerous internet memes and videos about this. This attitude, often seen as being manly in Russia, may also be linked to behaviors like drinking, smoking, and reckless driving. The legacy of World War II and other wars seems to play a part in this mindset. This brash behavior often leads to accidents, and naturally many end in fatalities, further reducing the average lifespan of Russian men. Recent events, such as the conflict in Ukraine, have exacerbated these issues. There have been around 200,000 casualties among the Russian military. Moreover, to avoid the draft, upwards of a million Russian men have fled the country, with 10% of them being in the IT sector. This brain drain is likely an unintended consequence that Putin did not anticipate. For many, vodka remains the primary means to cope with the stresses of war and its economic implications. Diseases and accidents related to alcohol consumption predictably lead to more deaths among Russian men. Consequently, the gender imbalance in Russia looks set to continue for the foreseeable future.